Well, here we are in our bathroom and we're here doing tiling and we've come across a dilemma which I'm sure many of you come across from time to time and that is we were going to solder this extension of copper pipe here onto the end of the pipe coming out of the wall. This is the water supply for the toilet and the toilet will go right here. Problem is, is look at this, we've turned off the water at the main but yet it continues to drip. This is even an hour later, it's still dripping like this. So you'll never, ever, ever be able to solder copper pipes together when you have water in the line. So what we're going to do is use an old plumber's trick here. And as you can see, we have some white bread here. And uh, what this does is this just buys you a few minutes of time. You shove this down into the pipe far enough away from the where you're going to make the solder connection here and this will stop that water flow long enough for you to make the connection and you only have about a few minutes so you gotta have all your tools close by and ready and we're also going to use this this is for my shop vac and we're going to suction out whatever water is still in the pipe after we plug it to make sure it's nice and dry then we're going to use our tools here to uh, clean off the pipe deburr it and clean the inside and the outside and make sure that we have flux on there and then we'll put this pipe on there and then we'll solder it and hopefully this will work okay so now we're going to insert the bread into the pipe and we're going to stick it back there far enough with a pencil here and that looks like it's done the trick so now what we're going to do is vacuum out. Okay, now that it's stopped, let's move this guy. Ready? Yeah. Okay, so now we're just gonna clean this, clean the pipe. And pull this off first. clean the inside of the pipe. And you notice I'm using gloves because I don't want the oil from my hands to get in there and ruin the joint. You absolutely cannot let your hands touch those parts. And I'm going to do another quick brush here since I passed the cloth over it. Just give it a little Now we have a nice clean uh, pipe there. I'm going to apply just a little bit of flux. Just a thin film is all you need. Go as deep as you're going to go into the coupler with it. I'll put a little on the inside too. Probably doesn't need it. Okay, so now we're ready to get our attachment. Put it on there. It's in there nice and good now. Now we're going to put the flame right here on the coupler because the solder will suck into where the, the flame is. You don't want to heat it out here. You want to heat it here on the coupler. And when you start to see it bubbling from the flux, then you know you're ready. Okay, so the rule of thumb with your solder is you want to use a, um, whatever the diameter of your pipe is, that's how much solder you use. So it should be a half inch of solder for each side that we do here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and fire it up and give it a try. Okay, so you decide to check there. I'll do the other side. 
The other side is closer to the water, so it'll probably be a little harder to heat it. Now that it's all done, we're going to let it cool down a minute, and then we're going to use a cool wet cloth to wipe off that whole joint in the pipe area there. I don't like to touch it too much until it's solidified. You want to just leave it alone, let it come back down to temperature, let the solder harden up, and then you'll be fine. So now I'm going to come in here and just wipe it off. And there you have it. Gives it a much better appearance. A little more professional when you wipe it off afterwards. And we are done. So we have this bucket here up against the wall. And we're going to shoot the water out and see if that releases our plug. And there it is. There's our bread floating in the bottom.